A clear water man charged in a deadly human smuggling case. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. Authorities say James M. Bradley Jr. trafficked nearly 100 undocumented immigrants in a hot, sweltering truck in Texas. Children were among the victims. Well, today, Bradley was in court and could face the death penalty. Jamel Lene joins us now live in Pinellas County, where we are learning more about Bradley Jr. and his local ties. Jamel? Good evening, Jed. Well, we have learned that Bradley Jr. sold the condo that he had here in Pinellas County about 20 years ago. But I spoke to plenty of people who live around this community, and they just can't believe he's from this area. Dozens gathered in front of a Texas church to remember the 10 people who died during a human trafficking operation. They're willing to risk themselves and they're willing to risk their lives for their kids and for their family members. The semi driver, James Bradley Jr., claimed in court today he didn't know what he was hauling. Undocumented immigrants, we're told, took turns breathing out of a small air hole and pounded on the walls to get Bradley's attention, but he never stopped. Bradley Jr. claimed he was surprised to find dozens of people and bodies inside. A Walmart store employee dialed 911. Authorities say Bradley Jr. dialed his wife instead. It's very sad. I mean, people coming from uh, other countries trying to make a better living here. We're learning more about 60-year-old Bradley Jr., who is said to be from Clearwater. He was arrested in 2004 in Tampa for driving a stolen vehicle. He also had a residence here at Winding Creek Condos in Clearwater in 1977, and it was sold in 1996. Neighbors living here today can't believe it. I saw it said Clearwater, mm -hmm. but it didn't. But I didn't. I didn't pick up where it was or anything that would be that close to us. I don't know what he's got in his conscience to treat people like that. And Bradley Jr. is facing one count of trafficking undocumented immigrants. And again, like you said earlier, Jen, he's facing the death penalty or life in prison if convicted. Jamel Linnae, live for us in Pinellas County tonight. Thanks, Jamel.